Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about best ways to increase androgen receptor. I get many requests for more detailed video on androgen receptors and as we already know, androgen receptors are the most crucial thing because before you start TRT, before you start taking supplements and all these kind of things, the first thing you need to fix is your androgen receptor sensitivity and density and in this video I will show you how. Okay, so the first thing we can do is to increase our androgens okay so on many on many websites they are <laughs> looking after hair health for men and they are talking about alopecia and all these kind of things the first thing they will recommend to shut down your androgen receptors is to decrease your androgens and okay this is complete bullshit because we as a man, we need balanced hormones, okay? So we need testosterone, DHEA, we need, we need DHT, okay? And each of these hormones has different effect on androgen receptor signaling, okay? The, the weakest is the testosterone because it's more anabolic, not that, not that androgenic. DHD is highly androgenic and has the best effect on androgen receptors okay also the the binding power of dhd is much higher than testosterone okay so uh, also if dhd will properly bind if we have enough of dhd then less of testosterone will be aromatized okay so uh, we need to increase our androgen so we need both testosterone because from testosterone we will create dhd we need DHT and also we need DHEA, especially in older guys there is decrease in DHEA, okay? But I have seen decrease in DHEA also in younger guys, okay? So, we need to lower estrogen, okay? Estrogen will boost serotonin, okay? Will cause a lot of inflammation, cortisol, prolactin, uh, will antagonize uh, testosterone. And like we said, we, we want to have a high level of our androgens in order to also increase our androgen receptors. And DHT is extremely powerful because DHT upregulates androgen receptor and can also have positive effect on uh, regulating estrogen in male's body. Okay, so we need to lower estrogen, yeah? Uh, for example, if we increase DHT properly, it can really upregulate uh, estrogen, okay? In meanwhile, we can use other, uh, other things like AIs, but you need to be careful because you can crash your estrogen. And we also have many natural ways how to decrease uh, estradiol. I think I have already some videos on this topic, okay? so. Let's move further. Like I said, cortisol. Cortisol has really detrimental effect on your androgen receptors and cortisol is also creating inflammation. Inflammation is not good because there is also a correlation between inflammation and cortisol. So high cortisol can create inflammation, but also inflammation in your body can boost cortisol and it's not good also for increasing testosterone, okay? And for example, if you block 5-alpha reductase enzyme, you will have much more problems with high stress because 5-alpha reductase make us stress resilient, okay? So we need, definitely need 5-alpha reductase enzyme, we definitely need DHT, okay? Eat right food, okay? So eating just meat or being on keto or low carb is not good, as I already explained in other video. It will increase your SHBG. If we want to increase our androgen receptors, we need to have proper amount of protein and carbs. And that way we will decrease SHBG. That way also we will get more from DHT because if SHBG is high, it will bond a really hard to SHBG and it will decrease efficiency of our DHT dihydrotestosterone okay if you need my help if you need customized protocol to boost your DHT to improve your androgen receptors you will find the link for my coaching in the description okay so we also need to eat good fats saturated fats are the best one okay so forget polyunsaturated uh, uh, fats and seed oils because they cause a lot of inflammation to your gut and also 
uh, seed oils uh, will affect negatively your DHT because they are powerful DHT blockers, okay? So one exception would be probably macadamia oil and olive oil. Olive oil can also increase uh, SHBG, but will also increase your total testosterone, okay? So serotonin, we want to get serotonin down. If we have inflammation in our gut, serotonin will get really high and we don't want that, okay? So also if you are taking specific medi medication, if you are taking specific supplements like San John Word and 5-HTP uh, and uh, others, uh, even some, uh, some supplements like ashwagandha for a longer period of time, uh, what else, uh, some other adaptogens uh, can boost uh, serotonin and we don't want that because the biggest problem is mostly with inflammation inflamed the gut and we want to decrease okay so you definitely need to fix your gut if you need help i have great protocol for this you will find the link in the description uh, serotonin will also negatively affect your thyroid hormone okay and we need thyroids for proper androgen production okay stop painkillers uh, i'm not using painkillers at all okay so there are really there are studies and showing things that ibuprofen, Tylenol, they are lowering of uh, androgen receptors powerfully, okay? So stop using painkillers because they will also mess with your erection also and with your testosterone levels. Toxin. Like I said, toxin in your gut, endotoxin, you need to stop this. Uh, there are studies out there and there are also experience with my coaching clients that just fixing endotoxin and gut health can double testosterone, okay? So you don't need to take expensive supplements, fix underlying issues. So why would you f need to take huge amount of supplements if you can fix your gut and you will get results, okay? So like I said, context in the description. Heavy metals, you can use things like lemon peel and you can use things like cilantro to get rid of heavy metals, okay? There are also, I don't recommend spirulina also because it, it can be really, uh, it can be really hard on your body, okay? So, guys, that's it. That's the way how you can increase uh, androgen receptors okay so there are also many great uh, supplements that can do like glycine selenium vitamin d forscolin uh, tribulus i really love tribulus and if you need your customized protocol hit me on my email if you want other videos let me know what topic should i cover okay hit the like button and tell me something nice in the comment bye